boys, the strongest battlegrounds just updated. And every time the strongest battlegrounds updates, I'd like to let you guys know about a couple things that you might have missed in the new update. Because not everything in the update is as apparent as the entire map getting covered in snow or the new moves for Atomic Samurai. Some things are a bit more hidden and a lot of players actually miss them. So without further ado, these are the top five things that you missed in the new update on the strongest battlegrounds. Let's get into it. So yeah, guys, first up on our list is something that has been hyped up by the developers for a long time. As you can see in the Discord server, they've actually been hyping this up. And they actually gave us this leak on it as well. But the video paused here and we didn't actually get to see what it was. But ladies and gentlemen, I now understand exactly why they've been hyping this up so much. Here, how about I just show you, okay? So as you can see, I have an attacking dummy here. And this is the finisher for split second counter. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go up. I'm going to use the counter. It looks normal, right? And then watch what happens when I actually use the finisher. What was that, bro? Hang on, hang on. Let me show you one more time. As you can see, they actually added a ton of impact frames to this finisher. Honestly, I think this finisher has more impact frames than any other move in the entire game. And honestly, I think it needs them because they look so nice. Honestly, I think this is one of the cleanest moves in the entire game. Just the way that it all flows together just looks so nice. 10 out of 10 finisher. I honestly think this is my new favorite finisher in the entire game. I think that most people would probably agree. Like, it just looks so smooth. I love it so much. So yeah, shout out to the development team for making that. But ladies and gentlemen, that is not the only item on our list. There are four other equally impressive things on this list, and today I'm going to be telling you about them. So let's get into the second one, which actually has to do with one of Atomic Samurai's moves as well. And it is yet another Atomic Samurai finisher. Here, just just, just take a look at this. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Look at this. This is the aerial pinpoint cut finisher. As you can see, if I jump up and then use this finisher, it's going to do sort of like quick slice on the opponent, which is really interesting. I think Atomic Samurai definitely has a very distinct animation style, and I really like how this looks. As you can see, it's pretty similar to how Quick Slice looks, except there's one key difference, and let's see if you can spot it. Here, did you see it? It was right at the end. It's all of those, like, crossy things. I don't even know what you call them, but did you see them? Here, I'll put up a picture of what I'm talking about on screen right now. But yeah, as you can see, Quick Slice doesn't really have that. But yeah, guys, the Atomic Samurai finishers honestly look super nice. They're so fluent, and I think that the development team did a really great job on them. I honestly don't know how they could have really done better on the finisher animations. But if you thought that that was good, wait till you see the third item on our list, which also has to do with Atomic Samurai. In fact, it has to do with the third move of Atomic Samurai as well, because it's not just the aerial version that got a finisher. The ground move has also received a finisher. And guys, you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments which one you think looks better, because honestly, this one could be even better than the last one that I showed you. So here it is right here. I'm gonna let you see for yourself. Here we go. Pinpoint cut just like this. There's the finisher. As you can see, it almost looks laggy, but I'm pretty sure that that's actually how it's supposed to look. Here, wait, wait, let me, let me show you guys again. So as you can see, yeah, the opponent kind of like freezes and like it, time almost freezes essentially. And then it like kills the opponent, if that makes sense. So like you dash forward and then the opponent is actually supposed to freeze like that. And then they like fall apart. But yeah, it looks super nice. I'm a big fan of this animation style. I think that the pause that the character does looks really cool. So yeah, you guys are going to have to let me know which one looks better. Is it the ground finisher or is it the aerial finisher, which looks like this? You guys are going to have to let me know in the comments down below. Personally, I'm a huge fan of both of them. But yeah, guys, I promise that that's the last of the finishers on this list. I know that was a lot of finishers, but trust me, finishers were not the only thing that were added in this update. In fact, there were a lot of things added, but it's also important to mention what's been removed. And ladies and gentlemen, I have a sad bit of information for you. Remember a couple of days ago, whenever I made this video showcasing a super powerful glitch in the strongest battlegrounds? Look, as you can see, it gave you like superpowers, essentially. You were able to move across the map super, super quickly. Well, guys, I hate to break it to you, but after the release of that video, I guess the developers saw it because unfortunately that glitch has been patched. Now, honestly, I'm kind of glad that it was patched because this would happen a lot just by accident. You would just be fighting like a hero hunter who had their ultimate and then this glitch would happen to you. And I mean, as with any other overpowered glitch like this, it was bound to get patched eventually. So honestly, I'm not really mad about it, but don't worry, guys. It is the strongest battlegrounds after all, and some other glitch is going to come around in the near future. But wait, you might be thinking to yourself, Zebra, that's only four items on the list. You forgot the fifth one, but that's where you'd be wrong because I did not forget the fifth item on this list. And the fifth item is actually something that a lot of people know got added, but they have no clue what it looks like. And as of right now, neither do I. And that is the fact that there are 18 new emotes in this update. Now I'm going to put up a time on screen right now of where you should skip to if you want to skip this part, but I'm going to show you guys every single new emote in this update. So without further ado, sit back, 
grab your popcorn, and watch me as I make poor financial investments. Yep, there's 18 emotes in this update, and I am going to be buying every single last one of them. It's my job to keep you guys updated on the emotes, and as a result, I've also got to own every single emote in the game. Plus, I just enjoy having these emotes. Honestly, it's really fun just being able to, like, pick any emote in the game. I would definitely recommend it if you can get it. To be honest, I lost count. Okay, wait, 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 wait. There we go, there we go, there we go. That is the last one. Here we go, guys. I got all the new emotes, all 18 of them. So without further ado, let's get into the first one. This emote is called Traditional Duel. Now, unfortunately, this is a two-player emote, and I don't have anyone here with me to do it with, because this emote is brand new, and most people don't have it yet. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You, you want to do the emote with me, Mr. Snowman? Nope. All right, buddy, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not upset. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I'll hit you with that pinpoint finisher, though. As you can see right here on my emote list, this is sort of what it's going to look like. So as you can see, you kind of stand there. And then after a couple seconds, you shoot and then either die or I guess win the fight. At least most of them do not require two players. For example, this emote, the strongest rocks, as you can see, it's like a guitar emote. It's pretty cool. It's got a custom soundtrack, which you can't actually hear it right now, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, I actually covered the soundtrack in one of my most recent videos but yeah as you can see it's a pretty cool emote and yeah that one is called the strongest rocks next up is the rest emote so yeah you just kind of you kind of chill just just lie down just chill oh wow it's kind of a little bit glitchy i guess but yeah as you can see you just kind of chill on the ground i don't think you ever actually get up this is gonna be a w prank for people that don't know that this has been added you can just like troll people and make them think you're dead and then be like haha actually but yeah no nah, i'm a big fan of this emote i think it's great oh yeah if you actually press space bar then you get up like this okay that's pretty cool all right next Next up is the nerf this emote. So as you can see, it's it's talking about nerfing Atomic Samurai, which is pretty funny. I wonder if it adjusts to like show whatever character you're using at the moment. Hang on. So if I'm using Saitama and I use this emote, oh my gosh, it actually shows the character that you're using. Or wait, no, it doesn't. I'm stupid. I'm being stupid. It just shows a random character every time. Okay, okay. That makes more sense. So yeah, there we go. There's Saitama. And then I do that again. Boom. There's Hero Hunter. I do it again. Then it's Metal Bat. Okay, that makes sense so it just it just kind of tells you like a random character on the side all right next up this emote is called honored and honestly i don't really know what this is oh my gosh bro he's floating what yo i wonder if you can get hit while you're up here all right next up is the first rule emote oh my gosh it grabs one of your friends off of your friends list and puts them next to you wait what is he just gonna is he just gonna sit here now and just wait what yo okay so it it pulls one of the friends off of your friends list and then after you exit the emote oh okay never mind. I think he was supposed to disappear the first time and he just didn't. Look, bro. Oh my gosh. One of my friends off of my friends list is just chilling here now. So yeah, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, something infamous has happened. Something that will be remembered for years to come. And that is that we've gotten yet another sitting emote. How, how many sitting emotes do we need, guys? This is the third one. The third one, chat. Honestly, though, this one is a bit more unique than the other sitting emotes and I like it. So yeah, GG's to the developers for that one. But yeah, here we go. This is the cheers emote. Once again, this is another one that requires two players, but as you can see right here, this is sort of what it's gonna look like. Imagine that he's holding a can and then you you both drink Bloxy Cola together. Alright, next up is the L's emote, and as you can see, you just throw L's on the ground. Bro, this has to be the most toxic emote to possibly do after killing an opponent. One day on a live stream or something, I'm gonna have to get a whole bunch of people together and we'll just start throwing L's in the middle. We'll just have an entire pile of L's. But yeah, the next emote on our list is called table flip and as you can see you flip a table it's a nice play on words obviously referencing saitama's table flip but yeah next up is the salt shaker emote so as you can see you you just pour salt on the ground this one's very seasonal it almost looks like i'm like pouring snow onto this hill yeah guys it's confirmed i'm actually the one that covered the map in snow i did it with this emote uh yeah anyways next up on our list is the expendable emote i, I don't even know what this is i don't wait, what, what's my character doing bro what, what is he doing he's kind of dancing it, it's, it's kind of a vibe all right, next up is the sweat emote. Oh my gosh, dude, th this one's so toxic. Yeah, dude, I'm definitely gonna start using this one. But yeah, without further ado, let's move on to our next emote, which is the T emote. As you can see, it just puts the player into a T pose. Pretty self-explanatory. Me and the boys gonna be using this one at 3 a.m. Anyways, the next one is called the point down emote. And as you can see, you just kind of point down. I'm assuming this is supposed to be used after you kill an opponent and you just kind of do that. But I don't really know. I'm a big fan of that one though. All right, only three left. Next one is the coffee emote and as you can see, you just drink your coffee. I vibe with this emote. I think it's I think it's great. It's very chill. I think it would be great if like every time that you like clicked or something, it like took a sip of coffee. But a 
aside from that, I think that this is a great emote addition. All right, guys, next up is the ramen emote. So as you can see, you sit down and you just eat ramen. It's pretty, pretty chill, pretty self-explanatory, pretty similar to the, uh, to the coffee emote. But yeah, I think that, I think that this emote looks great. Not much else to be said about it, to be honest. All right, guys, and our last emote, disgraced. As you can see, you kind of, you kind of do this and then you start floating into the air. Pretty similar to the one that we talked about earlier. This emote right here, where you sort of, you go down and then step back and then start floating into the air. It's, it's very similar to that one, except this one just takes a bit less time to like actually get into it. So as you can see, you sort of start here and then instantly go into it as opposed to like all of that warm up stuff or not warm up, but like start up into the animation. I think that this update has some of the best emotes that we've seen. And that's also everything for our list of things that you might have missed in the update that was released today. But yeah, guys, on that note, I think I'm going to end the video. Make sure to let me know what you think of this update down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Peace.